Hello, and thanks for tuning into the highlight reel of our first ever Student Entrepreneur Startup Showcase at VentureLink at NJIT. I'm Kat Savalas. I am VentureLink's Program Director. Hi, I'm Chelsea Samuelson. I'm NJII's Entrepreneurial Director of Growth. My name is Will Lutz, and I'm the General Manager for Entrepreneurship at the New Jersey Innovation Institute. At VentureLink, our primary mission is to support startups of all shapes and sizes. Like many of you, COVID has forced us to think more virtually. Those changes led to the virtual program that trained these entrepreneurs. This group of impressive students and recent graduates recently completed our eight-week intensive course focused on the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. Before we continue any further, we have to say thank you to our sponsors. The New Jersey Health Foundation is a great supporter of health-based entrepreneurship in our state, so thank you for all that you do. Jeff and his team at Jeffrey Sobel Consulting do phenomenal work supporting nonprofits all over the United States. We could not have done this without their support, which helps us keep this program free and available for entrepreneurs. With all of our thank yous and intros out of the way, it's time to enjoy the main event. What follows are some of the highlights from the VentureLink 2020 Summer Showcase. To see the full student entrepreneur pitches, go to bit.ly slash VL dash showcase dash 2020. Hi, my name is Nick Irwin, and today I'm here to talk about my company, Surefire Lacrosse, where we are launching the Surefire Lacrosse Training Grip, an aid that guides lacrosse stick handholds for new athletes to the sport. Made to fit over any standard size shaft, our grip ensures that every young athlete who wants to play will learn the right way the first time. This is a chart taken from the 2018 U.S. Lacrosse Participation Report that shows the total percentage growth of high school lacrosse participation which is 105% between the years 2006 and 2018, making it the fastest growing sport in America. The surefire grip ensures the top hand stays in place on a stick as an athlete is practicing and playing. Every lacrosse coach will tell you that the top hand is the most important part in developing good mechanics because it gives the ball direction and speed as it comes out of your stick when you're passing. If you have any questions, my email and phone number are on the slide. Thank you for listening. My name's Yashmi and I'm the founder of Relief, and I'm building a management tool for patients with brain injuries. Every year, 2.8 million Americans sustain a traumatic brain injury. 41% of those patients will not get a follow-up visit with their doctor within three months. And only 2% of a physician's time goes into communicating with their patients. This means that patients are not getting the proper care that they need and doctors are not able to efficiently communicate with their patients. And Relief can change that. Relief is a remote patient monitoring system that tracks traumatic brain injury symptoms in between doctor's visits. We've conducted 17 user interviews with both former TBI patients and doctors and had 11 patients in the beta run of our first MVP. In three years, we will have 50 neurologists within the Relief network. This means 49,000 TBI patients using Relief. $15 per month per patient will lead to $8.8 .8 million in revenue. If you would like to know more about Relief or get in contact with us, you can visit us at tbirelief.com or email me at tbirelief at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, my name is Parth. I'm a founder in the Commonwealth Project. In April 2020, 91% of healthcare facilities had less than a two week supply of facials remaining and 35% had nothing at all. The stories that we heard terrified us. They were getting ready to use garbage bags as gowns and names were being written on the N95s so that they could be reused. The good news was all around the state, the community began to pitch in. They fired up the sewing machines and the 3D printers. They, they, the Honors College challenged us to design a face shield, and we got to work too. But we realized that there was one obstacle that all of these volunteer operations were facing, which was scalability. 
How could we tap into this wider wellspring of volunteerism that the pandemic had exposed? People wanted to build shields. Our solution was a community-driven, decentralized production and delivery network for face shield construction kits. In just three months, entirely in quarantine, we raised $5,000 to build 5,000 disposable shields and then partnered with the NGIT Makerspace with our model to build an additional 10,000 reusable shields. We have a high-performing team that has delivered proven success and we wanna turn our focus to catalyzing this innovation by connecting innovative startups with high initiative students that are eager for experience. We have a great resource that's ready to be channeled. Here's our contact information. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Hi, my name is Andrew Alcock, and I'm the founder of H2Go. H2Go creates innovative hydration products for the active person and is changing the way we drink water. This is a hydration pack. It's basically a backpack, um, and inside is a plastic bag with a flexible straw coming out of it. These things get very, very dirty very quickly. In fact, water reservoirs need to be cleaned after every single use. What you see here is a picture of a water reservoir that wasn't cleaned properly in between uses. All the dark spots you see are bacteria growth. And I know what you may be thinking, this is an extreme example, the average reusable water container probably isn't this filthy. I hate to be the one to bring this to your attention, but the average reusable water container was found to have over 100 times the amount of colony forming units of bacteria per square centimeter as the average dog toy. You might as well be drinking out of a Petri dish. So our product solves this problem by removing the water reservoir entirely. H2Go features a universal valve that allows it to fit onto any off-the-shelf bottle of water. This turns your bottle of water into a hands-free hydration pack with a single twist. We've started conversations with some big box specialty sp stores, um, including local branches of Dick's Sporting Goods, Cabela's, and REI. So if you'd like to learn more about my product, or think you or someone you know could be an asset to my team, please feel free to contact me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Salib, military veteran and founder of the LAMP. While in the Marine Corps, I was assigned to a reconnaissance unit, where it was our job to be the eyes and ears for operating forces. Reconnaissance missions can be accomplished a few different ways, but generally it involves a lot of walking. This is because physically getting out there and conducting a reconnaissance is by far the most accurate image you can paint for a commander. Here at Volant, we are a team of hardware and software engineers who are revolutionizing reconnaissance capabilities through our innovations in communications and unmanned aerial systems. Our team are building affordable drones that communicate through a secure and long-range mesh network. By implementing an affordable design, we aim to give troops the option to not have to recover these drones if deemed too costly or too dangerous. So according to the IDC, the future for innovations within unmanned aerial systems is bright. Goldman Sachs estimates the global total available market for drones at $100 billion, because this is projected to grow by a 33.3% compound annual growth rate between the years 2020 and 2025. Appreciate you all taking the time to uh, learn more about our accomplishments here at Volant, and we hope to hear from you soon.